to our country, probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. It's bloody. So we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. You weren't inside the event, nope. but you were just outside. Tell us what you yes. saw. And what. So, so we had a party here all day. Too, and you can see behind us at the, the Brinkles Farming Greenhouse here. We had a party. Um, and we all decided, hey, you know, when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and, watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up. And probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know. But um, we noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at them. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots rang out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? 
Hundred percent. And he he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You were up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three to four minutes. And you were telling yep. the police from the secret service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him from the secret service. Who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see binoculars? Him? Could they see him? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But but why is there not secret service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh, yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service blew his head off. Okay, well, just be careful because we don't even point out who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Okay, okay. yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep, yep. Okay, yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards, or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead, and that was it. It was over. It's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You can see the white roof right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I No, other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. I, we saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, 100%. Do you, do, I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns, for sure. Yeah, no, I mean, there is a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but sure. but it, was a, it was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with, Anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing now to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security perimeter. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building? Here. Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole bunch of questions. Yeah. Yes, she was right in front of me. She kept going back and forth right in front of me. Yes. Tell us about her. Well, I mean, nice horse, nice lady running with a flag. She seemed very, you know, patriotic. But what, what's, what's the significance of her? No, she just he asked me if I saw a horse. Okay. okay. All right, well, listen, I'm sorry you had to witness that. That was a terrible thing. And uh, you should stay safe with your family and uh, gotcha. help yourself. Um, thanks for your gotcha. time. We do have a statement from the Secret Service at this time, and I want to share it with everyone who's tuning in at this hour. Um, the Secret Service is saying today in Butler, Pennsylvania, at approximately 6.15 p.m., a suspected shooter fired multiple shots no specific number listed here, toward the stage from an elevated position, as our eyewitnesses have been sharing with our audience, outside of the rally venue. The Secret Service personnel neutralized the shooter, who's now deceased. Secret Service quickly responded with protective measures, and former President Trump is safe. One spectator was killed, as we've been reporting, and two spectators were critically injured. This incident is currently under investigation, and the Secret Service has notified the FBI. So the Secret Service uh, confirming from the federal level what our eyewitnesses have been saying in terms of the uh, numbers of those injured, that the shooter was from an elevated position, and notably uh, that it, those shots were taken from outside of the rally venue. Uh, that is going to be a key part of the investigation here, why the security perimeter didn't include that area, how the shooter knew and could get to that elevated position and be able to take the shots that came this close to the 45th president of the United States. Thanks for coming, folks. I've been thoroughly briefed by all the agencies of the federal government as to the situation based on what we know now. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they, apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come. 
relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't. If I'm not able to, get, if, we're, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is. The, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to be conducted peacefully without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed, and if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears he's doing well, number one. Number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have, we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to them tonight. And I'll get you back to you if I do. Okay? Mr. President, do you think this was an assassination attempt? I don't know enough. To, I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some comment, any more comments. Thank you. Are you worried, President? Was the security failing as president? Caroline, we have had a response uh, from Donald Trump. Let's yeah, have a listen. The man himself has posted, it looks on Truth Social, getting reposted everywhere, obviously, and he says that it was a bullet that clipped him on the ear. Uh, there had been some speculation about that. So he said in his post, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed mm -hmm. and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong in that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Jeez. Much bleeding took place, so I realised then what was happening. God bless America. Wow. Well, wow. as I've said before, somebody up there likes Donald Trump because that is extraordinary. If there was a shooter on the roof, just clipped his ear, just as Donald Trump turned his head to the right, we saw the footage That's there ourselves. That's shocking. That is unbelievable and extraordinary. My question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building here? Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole bunch of questions.